and we are discussing the situation with ICOMS, the Integrated Customs uh, Management System, uh, which uh, has is, has begun its its piloting. I think they decided the piloting on Monday, and yesterday we're told over a hundred freight forwarders demonstrated at the Tema ports. Uh, regards this new system and it was the same on the first day where we had a few people agitating with the new system so we are just trying to understand what the issues are and moving forward how we can resolve them and i've been joined in studio by the head of our uh, public relations manager of the ghana link network services uh, limited they are the technical partners for icom so uh, we understand that they will be able to appreciate the issues and tell us exactly what the problems are we'll also be joined via phone short uh, by a, an executive member of the Committee of Association of Freight Forwarders, COFAS, to tell us exactly what the problem is, why they demonstrated yesterday and whether the issues have been resolved and whether it's early days yet for us to demonstrate against this new system. Good morning, Ovan. Uh, good morning, Edmund. So yesterday, there was another demonstration. Monday, day one was a problem. Day two was a problem as well. Today is day three. We don't know what the situation is currently. But what have you been gathering? You are technical partners for ICOMS. What are the challenges you have identified with ICOMS? Um, first of all, let me just try and correct something. We are not piloting. Okay. Um, it's the full rollout. You f okay, you are rolling. It's the full rollout at the Tema port. Uh, just to put it at on the record. Tema and then the KIA. Kodo, yes, Kodoka International okay. Airport. Okay. Don't, just to re remind you that somewhere in March, the rollout started at the borders, at all the frontiers. And that um, was a pilot. Um, I'm telling you the rollout plan, how okay. it has gone. Okay. So Tema and KIA was to complete the nationwide rollout of the ICOMs. And so, I mean, piloting and all that had already been done way back, somewhere gem January, February. And so in March, they started, you know, we started the rollout, you know, in phases. So we started with the borders first. We came to Takrade. Uh, that was in, 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 in uh, 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 the month of April. And then, you know, the, the, the rollout for Kut uh, Kutuka and Tema mm -hmm. was, uh, started, or was started on Monday, let me okay. say, 1st of June. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I'm the first to admit that in every new challenge, that uh, new system, let me put it, mm -hmm. comes with challenges. And when these things happen, I keep saying that the speed with which you resolve these issues, some might be internet downtimes, some might be the fact that you've trained and educated people, mm -hmm. they probably are not still conversant. You, keep, you have to keep retraining them, you have to put in place measures to ensure that if they have any issues, you resolve them. Right. And this is what has been happening. In fact, prior to Monday, if you go to the long room, if you go to MPS terminal, if you go to the Golden, Golden Ghibli Terminal, if you go to the transit point at Tema, we have stationed, you know, men there, which is both from Ghana Link and the Ghana Revenue Authority. Don't forget that the primary users for the ICOMs is the Ghana Revenue Authority Customs Division mm -hmm. and other stakeholders. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who are using this, the, this, this particular system. So what are, what are the have. problems you have identified with this system that you say you're resolving? Well, some, really, if you talk about the challenge, I would want to hear Mr. Darkon to, to see well, some, of the, some, of the, some of the challenges mm -hmm. that he still has with the system. Mm -hmm. Some of the things they raised was training. Indeed, training was done even up to Sunday. I was aware that people were still being trained. Mm -hmm. You understand? And training is continuous. And don't forget, it is like using a laptop. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, your company says that we don't want you to use a laptop any longer. We want to give you an iPad. Mm -hmm. You need to be trained on how to use the iPad in, within the scope of your work. And for that matter, mm -hmm. even when you are trained, one of the things you need to do to be able to master the iPad is the continuous use of the iPad that but has been that given will be, you. that will be comparing apples and oranges. That's because, I mean, even before the rollout of ICOMS, there were concerns that freight forwarders said we were not ready for this new system because this is a new system different from what we're used to. Or you disagree? No, I mean, come on, change across the world. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it. Not only in Ghana, 
when you are very comfortable in the use, that's why I use the laptop as an analogy for you. If you are very comfortable in using the laptop, and then they want to bring you an iPad. You obviously will say, how am I going to use this? I mean, I'm very conversant. I know where my A is, my B is. Now it's everything on one, uh, one screen that I have to use. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said that. But it's for you to be able to use that effectively for your work mm -hmm. is the continuous practice. And so I think that when you are trained, you don't go home and sleep and put the iPad under your pillow. What you do is that you keep on using this iPad. It helps you to even find out short ways mm -hmm. of doing what you have been doing and you're able to do it best. No, and then what I want to say to mm -hmm. these street forwarders uh, uh, who are, are key stakeholders in this business is that, yes, you have been trained and I don't think that they, there will be any street forwarder that will say that I never went through the training or I never heard there was training or there was no retraining. In fact, last month in April, even when the freight forwarders themselves said that, okay, we needed retraining, we had to do it. In fact, at GIFT's headquarters in Tema, mm -hmm. it will interest you to know that we have stationed four of our men there mm -hmm. who are still helping people to, and if probably you went on the system and you still don't understand something, because we admit mm -hmm. that people need to have continuous training. Mm -hmm. And so that is happening as I speak to you. And that's how come we have stationed men at the Gates headquarters. Beyond that, we also have the, the support center, mm -hmm. the call lines that have been uh, deployed. Mm -hmm. You need to call and then you'll be supported. If you go to the uh, ICOMS website, which is currently the um, uh, external uh, unipass Ghana dot com, mm -hmm. there is a button, a text button at the left corner, okay. which is for live chat there's somebody at the back end. If you are on the system right now and you had a challenge and you can't pick your phone to call, probably you have, you've run out of credit. Mm -hmm. All you needed to do was to click on that and then indicate what your challenge is. And the person will do that. Mm -hmm. At the command center that has been set up in Tema, we have put a rapid response team that if it's something that is beyond the team that is on ground, these people will move in. The GRE officials and the Ghana Link team will move in to resolve these things for you. Okay, you are technical partners to ICOMS. I want to ask you, what's the difference between, I mean, why did we need ICOMS in the first place? What is ICOMS introducing that GCNet, for instance, didn't have? Um, interestingly, I think that just to give you some brief history, mm -hmm. um, this is an end-to-end -end system. First point I want to make before I give you the history behind What's, it. What do you mean by end-to-end? -end? Okay, so when I talk about end-to-end, -end, mm -hmm. what I mean is that this is a system that when you sit down and behind your machine right now and go into it, you can do everything that you need to do because it's an end-to-end -end automated customs operational management system that has been deployed. Prior to this uh, system being introduced in Ghana, mm -hmm. we had, you know, the gimmicks. And the gimmicks was also interconnected. Mm -hmm. Yes, one will argue and say, yes, you can have one system and you can have people interconnected from the back. But a situation where I needed to go into one system, come out, go into another system, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Because when you wanted to do your pre-arrival assessment and all that, you needed to do it with a different vendor. So you go into that system and then, well, indeed, they are talking to each other. Mm -hmm. But here, you are in one system which gives you the opportunity to go ahead and do what you have to do. A lot of new things have been uh, introduced also in this particular system. In terms of the steps that you need to take. The steps are shorter now? They're shorter now. Okay, so take us through. So I have to clear my goods at the ports. How, how cumbersome was it before and how easy is it now with ICOMS? No, you have to clear your goods. I mean, right now with ICOMS, mm -hmm. with a single window that has been deployed. Mm -hmm. So your UCR, IDF, LCPO, that's where you start. Then you okay. go into the BOE, that's the bill of entry site. And you do, and under it is the manifest, uh, that is reference codes. Or to, uh, you have the manifest matching, classification, valuation, compliance, risks, that's under that. The next step you're moving is to do payment. Mm -hmm. You do your payment either through Visa, mob, the mobile app that is deployed, uh, Momo, Internet, or you walk into the bank mm -hmm. and then you do that. And then vessel or cargo, you know, they, they look at the manifest matching Mm -hmm. Again, properly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then joint inspection takes place, and you you are gated out. Okay. You exit from the port. Okay. Either to you do the single window, you do the pre-arrival of cargo. You do the uh, you come to the vessel report before you do the BOE, which has to do with the validation before you go so, and do payment. So the process you go and do your compliance before you go to examination before you're gated out. Okay, so the process uh, was was a bit more 
when and you, you had to deal with a lot more people. And even the number of the days, G the, number the number of, of days, days okay. that you would take Why to, then? to you know mm. clear your goods. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm sure that uh, the freight forwarders themselves would tell you uh, maybe we are, we are a so minimum of about three reach, or four days, mm -hmm. three or four days. Mm -hmm. I mean, three or four days. That's what you would take mm -hmm. to clear your goods. Mm -hmm. But trust me, if you had your documents, mm -hmm. okay. Um, the ship is not even in Ghana yet. The cargo has, is just on sale to Ghana. And um, it was coming in. If you had your documents, all you needed to do, okay, is to go to the uh, pre-manifest, choose that uh, 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 model, go in there, put your documentation in. You can go up to payment mm -hmm. and just sit and wait. Mm -hmm. And how long? So, so GCNet was giving us three days. How long does it take? I'm now? not. You see, uh, just as I said, no, I said the system, the, cost, the, the system. Ghana Customs Management System, the mm -hmm. gimmicks that mm -hmm. was there. I, I do not want to use names of companies in in this discussion. No, but it was I a mean, system. it's necessary. We are applying we the systems. It. I'm saying that we are applying the systems, and so let's uh, you know restrict ourselves to the systems as it is. So that was a system. That was being run by customs, and that took three days for you to be able to. I'm saying that the, min, the minimum, minimum that about will, will take you. Minimum. Minimum will take you three, four days to and be able maximum to. maximum was. Well, it depends. I mean, if okay. you had issues with so, your with your uh, goods or there were some questions, queries that were raised, mm -hmm. why not? It would take you some more days to be able to clear that. And now, how many days? And I'm saying that I if you see. had everything correct, mm -hmm. okay. You will take probably about four hours to put everything in. Four hours, not even a day. That is, put everything in. That is the fit for weather. Okay. You spend your time, put everything in. You can go through the system. And I'm sure that within 24 hours, you should be able to clear your goods. Okay. And if you, uh, how about if you have challenges with your papers, like you said? Well, queries will be raised as you are going through the process. Okay. So that's why we, we, I anticipate, mm -hmm. and we all will anticipate that as a fit for weather or as uh, uh, an importer, your documentations and all the things that you need to do would be intact and you will be able to go through the system you know without having any hustle yes yesterday um, i'm sure you witnessed the demonstration of over a hundred freight forwarders at the tema ports we are here to we are yet to uh get any demonstration whatsoever at the uh, kia by the way but at the tema ports over a hundred uh, freight forwarders demonstrated yesterday can you maybe give us an indication whether you've been able to meet them and resolve some of the issues they had yesterday? I think, I think yesterday the um, commissioner, uh, that's Ken Odavwa, spoke about mm -hmm. this particular issue. We've, we've had him uh, several times speak to these people. And um, the concerns as were being raised, don't forget that it is not the same concerns that cut across. Mm -hmm. People have different issues. And that's why I told you that we have the uh, support team at the long room and at the various terminals. Okay. But you see, why have we, why have we even gotten to this point? I mm -hmm. think that that mm -hmm. is what we need to look at. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that on Monday, mm -hmm. when the um, gimmicks was shut, okay. um, which is the Ghana Customs Management System was, was put off. Yeah. Um, obviously, you had people who probably had their goods or have done payments mm -hmm. and still needed to go through and get released from the shipping line and get their things clear from the port. Mm. But last week, on Tuesday, I recall very well, Alan Kodjocha Martin, the trade minister, yeah, with the commissioner there, general, yeah. they were at the port last week. Mm -hmm. And this is what they had told the freight forwarders. Mm -hmm. And let me just retreat what he said. He explained to them and made them aware that on the 1st of June, mm -hmm. the ICOMS was going to go live in Tema and at KIA. And, and they protested and they said, no, we were not ready. No, no, no. Because in we had that been meeting, trained in I that. Was, mm -mm, I was in that meeting. Nobody protested there and said we are not trained enough. But, I, I mean, we spoke to the Ghana Institution of Freight Forwarders who said that we said we were not ready. Who, Ghana, we're Insti not... Ghana Institution of Freight Forwarders. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to know because at that meeting, I was there. Mm -hmm. I was in that meeting. And nobody protested and said we are not ready. Mm -hmm. they, the concerns that were raised had to do with, okay, how about those of us who have started the process? But this was the response from Alan Kodjuta Martin, the trade minister, mm -hmm. to them. He said, look, if you know you have started the process of clearing your goods mm -hmm. at the port and you can complete it before the 1st of June in the old system, please go ahead. And if you cannot? And if you cannot, mm -hmm. I would admonish you that the ICOMS is ready, so use the ICOMS. Start processing your documents through Will the new system. Will it cost me a lot more? No. 
It wasn't going to cost you anything. Mm. It wasn't going to cost you anything. So it's just the documentations that you were doing. It means I would have to start all over again. It, all you needed to do was because because I see, think that's a major concern for most people. They but, were not able to finish see, carrying is, their goose with the old system. That is why that you see you were given almost a whole one week. One week is because, a whole. Oh, but how many days does it time? take to clear your... It's enough time. Did we really have to start on 1st June? I mean, considering the fact that there were people who hadn't cleared their goose with the old system and they have but then to you, move to the new see, system. But, but you see... And with all the challenges that, that they... Atalan, what facing. is interesting hmm. and what you must know is that I think the GRE officials, the government officials, Ghana Link officials, hmm. realized that even though that communication had gone with a straightforwardness, hmm. you still were going to get some few of them who were still going to use the mm -hmm. old system. Mm -hmm. and it's not easy to take people out of their comfort zones. Mm. You remember, even in the Bible, I mean, you are <laughs> made to understand mm. that Moses was asked that you need to get a break and advance. Interesting. And that was supposed to help you to be able to get new things and better things that needed to come to you. Mm. And we don't need, as a country, to be very comfortable uh, because we think that that is where we are. If the government, and that was a government decision, that's something mm. that we need to understand and understand very no, clearly. But I really wish that we had a lot of time to discuss this further. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to reach our quick watch with Dako, is uh, an executive member of the Committee of Association of Freight Forwarders, who are also members of the Ghana Institution of Freight Forwarders, just to be able to understand really whether their concerns are being addressed and uh, whether or not moving forward what they are willing to do uh, to ensure that this is works for all of them but we are unable to reach him I mean I'll, I'll be maybe hopefully some other time we'll hear their concerns well but maybe it's early days yet uh, there's the first week for uh, the rolling out of icon so maybe by the end of the week let's see how uh, things will pan out but I've been speaking with uh, Northern Aqua Hayford who is the public relations manager of Ghana Link Network Services Limited. They are the technical partners of ICOM. So we've been trying to understand the situation with freight forwarders and accessing issues at the ports. We'll be 